there you are. Surprised to see you out here. It's 17 degrees Fahrenheit. Or if you're metric, that's about 41 hectares. Since you're here, I'll tell you a story. When I was a boy, back in the olden days, I came to associate a couple of different aromas with pipe smoking. But I didn't know precisely what they were, and there was no one in my life that actually smoked a pipe. It was aromas that I detected in passing. Back then, smoking was much more common, and pipe smoking in particular. A few months ago, when I began smoking a pipe, I decided that in the process, or hoped that in the process, of trying different tobaccos, different ones, that I would discover the source of those aromas that I remember. I tried a lot of what are called over-the-counter or drugstore type ones that would have been readily available back then to no avail. No lot of Kia blends or dark fired Kentucky. Uh, no Virginia Periques, nothing like that matched those profiles. Also, I'm not an actual pipe collector, but I do have a few briar pipes. That I bought used and refurbished so I could bring them back to life. And by now you're saying, hey Trout Whiskers, what is the point of all this? Well, I'll tell you. The point is this. This is a small billiard pipe made by a lesser known American manufacturer. A smooth finish with a reddish brown uh, stain on it. Nice saddle bit. I bought it for less than $5 just a couple of months ago. Well, when I received the pipe, the aroma from the bowl matched one of those tobaccos that I remember as a kid. I contacted the seller, I contacted the seller, who indicated that the pipe belonged to her father. and. She contacted her mother, and apparently her father smoked primarily cherry aromatics, and sometimes vanillas. So, I decided that in order to honor the family, that solved that ancient mystery for me. I would leave this pipe as is and not remove the slight oxidation on the stem and dedicate it as well to cherry aromatics. That, my friends, is the cherry aromatic story. You want to come inside? You want to stay out in the cold? Suit yourself. And don't call me Trout Whiskers.